Okay, hello everyone. Welcome back to All the Mod Six. We are back on the server. Just uh, one, one other joining us uh, t today. Um, in the last episode, we we got the B D D B. We we actually we managed to hunt him down. We we had to go into the other to get him. Um, and we might possibly, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll go check. Um, we might even have a dense gold B. Um, we had to leave him to do his own thing by himself. Um, so we'll see if it happened. Um, essentially, he flies out of that little apiary. He comes up to the ATM star block. He shares it with the starry B. Um, and then hopefully on his way back, he pollinates this uh, three times compressed gold block. And we get a gold B. That's that's what's meant to happen. Let's see. That's clearly not what's happened because we don't have any. Um, that's unfortunate. Um, I'll be honest. I'm not entirely sure why. It's possible that maybe it's too far up. It's possible we just haven't gotten it because it, it is a chance. It's not a guarantee. It's a, um, where is it? I mean, it's an, it's a 10% chance. Yeah. So it's, I mean, it's pretty rare. If we wanted to, we could do a quick little check. I'm going to open this up. There's actually only, hmm, only one left. Does that make sense? Hold on. Let's search gold. Um, oh no. Okay. So, so we've got how much compressed gold we have one on us. We can put that in. That means there's two here. Right? Or, or two's been used up. One's been used there and another's been used elsewhere. I think that means that only one's gone off. Does that... I think that adds up. Um, because we made a stack, obviously. Um, so one is there. Oh, no. One's there and one's in there. So it hasn't done anything. Okay. Well, that doesn't really help us. Now, someone said... Someone gave a suggestion that it's possible the bees, despite being... I believe they're being force looted at the moment. Yeah, they are. It's possible that they're not actually... Like, it's not working. Um, so, what I actually want to do here is I'm going to disable the starry honeycomb from being exported into this guy. And that means we'll be able to see directly how much starry um, honeycombs we get. And, and we can see if it's actually working, you know, when we're offline and when we're, you know, in a different location. So, we'll we'll check on that guy later. Um, another thing we were trying to do is we were trying to make the creative apiary it needs a lot of honey a lot of blocks of honey all compressed up so we set up this contraption and you might notice something different in the last episode we couldn't get our honey to go in here now the reason i, I i've realized now the reason why we couldn't get our honey to go in here was because we had the crafting recipe up right so if we try to craft this creative apiary and it tries to craft well we can craft this but if it tries to craft this honey do you know what it does it takes all the liquid honey it can and it stores it away and it starts like processing it, right? So there's no honey left over for here. Th that makes sense. That's fine. That That's one mystery solved. There's still an unsolved mystery. If you remember, when we were trying to craft this, uh, all this honey, it was using up our honeycombs, um, our, our honey, um, essence, which turned into honeycombs and then somehow got turned into a liquid. We didn't have a recipe. You, you can go back in that video. We didn't have a recipe for that honey to go anywhere. And and just to double check, if I run over to my centrifuge over here, which is the only... Well, there's a few places you can make liquid honey, but the centrifuge is obviously one of them. It makes a liquid honey. Do we have... We don't currently have here. You can look through. We don't have vanilla honeycombs being exported into this guy. Or at least we shouldn't, right? That, that's currently not set up. Um, up here, we do have a black hole tank, but it's already full. Um, and it only holds 65,000. So th that's, uh, uh, well, we, anyway, we solved where the liquid went. We're, we're now trying to solve where the liquid's coming from, right? So it's not coming from the centrifuge. We checked in the last episode. We looked all around the base and we couldn't figure out where it was making the honey. What we ended up doing is we actually, I think it's possibly even over here. We set up this guy, I think. Yeah, we set up this guy. And so now he actually... He is making us honey, but he previously wasn't set up and yet our honeycomb was going somewhere and it was giving back a liquid honey. And I still, I, I have no idea how it happened. If you want to try and solve that mystery, it's in the last episode. I, I mean, I mean, we've essentially given up. So it next, here's the next, the next uh, solution. What we need to do is switch things up a little bit. What I'm going to do is grab a tank. So I'm going to hopefully grab, I, I really like these, uh, storage tanks. I know there's like all these other tanks, but I really just like the big, just a big tank where you can see the liquid that's in it. You know, it's nice and beautiful. Um, so this guy, I'm going to place there. I'm going to grab my, um, entangler. In fact, you know what? Sorry. No, normally I do clean my, um, oh, you know what? That right there, <laughs> the BGDB being here is probably why the, um, the, the, you know, 
the what, what am I trying to say? The dense bee wasn't made. That that makes a lot more sense now that I now that I think about it. Okay, well, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna import him back in there. The reason we picked him up is because we didn't have that liquid honey. The liquid honey was missing, which means the calming wouldn't happen, which means the bee would be angry and he'd probably like, I don't know, kill our other bees. Um, but uh, okay, okay, okay. So we fixed one problem. We fixed the dense bee problem. Okay, we're, we're solving problems. We're solving problems. Um, if we come over here and we entangle this tank and we place it here instead, ah, uh, you know what? No. Um, I don't want to do that actually. Hold on. What do I want to do? I want to bring this tank with me. I want to do the thing up here, I believe. Uh, essentially, what I want to do is include these guys as part of the crafting, I think. Because I think having all of these making us honey is possibly faster than this guy making us honey. But you, you know what? Let me let me run a, another profile real quick. Um, just, re just real quick, you know, just real quick, just to see. Oh, it looks like this is actually updated. This uh, tick wasn't there before. Profile with sampler. Um, oh, you know what? They actually, they don't look to be creating much lag at all. Previously, when we tested it, one of these was creating lag, but it, this looks pretty good. I mean, the pipe over here is creating a little bit, but nothing too crazy, to be completely honest. Okay. Hmm. What do I want to do? Because what I could do, right, is I could have it so instead of it exporting the liquid into this guy, I have it export it into a tank, and then the tank puts it in these. And that sort of works. And now the reason that it sort of works is that um, these hold 16 buckets worth, right? Which means there's a chance that like one of them could have 1.5 buckets and the other one could have 0.5 buckets. And in that case, not a single block is made. So it gets a bit messy there. I think, hmm, what's this guy doing? I think we can get away with it. I think we can get away with it. So here's, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to get an entangled block. I can grab one of these boys. I'm also going to, yeah, I forgot to sort my inventory. Sorry. You know, it's, it's a quick process. There we go. The inventory sorted. Um, <laughs> sort of, we can put that away too. Um, I'm going to, do, 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 do. how do I want to do this exactly? I'm going to pick up this guy. So our, um, what's it called? Blast chiller. Beautiful. I'm going to place the entangled block right back there. That should be perfectly fine. Um, uh, is that what I'm going to do? Hmm. Yes. No, no. Yes. Wait, <laughs> hold on. Wait, what am I going to do? This is going to put honey in there. We don't need that. That doesn't need to be a thing. That doesn't need to be a thing. This can just be a tank. It could just be a tank. Yeah. Yeah. It could just, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Th I think we're good. I think we're good. So when we order honey blocks, it's going to put liquid honey into this tank. From that tank, it is going to be exported via, not via that. Um, hmm. you know, what? <laughs> we need a new tank. <laughs> we need a new tank, new tank time, new tank time. Let's just new tank. Oh, what? What? It's empty. Oh my God. Okay. Um, anyway, we're going to place that tank back. That's going to attach. Um, so this one is going to obviously extract. We're going to, I guess. Yeah, I guess we're going to chuck in the ultimate pipe upgrade, right? This guy's going to output 10 mil buckets per tick. Do I want to do a round robin? I think what the round robin would do is 10,000 in here, then 10,000 there, then 10,000 there. I think that's what we want. I think that's a good way to make it so that an even mount goes in each of them. I'm guessing. That that sounds pretty good. Okay. So already, that that's perfectly fine. Um, what we can actually go ahead and do is slap this guy right here. So our blast chiller will give him a little bit of power. So let's, um, eh, yeah, let's do that. We're going to open him up, uh, the behind him. So he's back. That's going to be an input for liquids. And then we are actually going to have output be at the bottom and we can do auto input and auto output. So it'll automatically output into our ender chest and it will automatically input, which it's going to do anyway, um, from the back there. And this should be beautiful. All we need to do. Oh no, it actually, it keeps the upgrades. You know what it doesn't have? It doesn't have my, um, creative flux efficiency. Where did I put that? I've clearly, I've taken it. And I'll put it somewhere else. Did I slap it in here? Is that where it went? It is. You know what? Uh, listen, I'm sorry to break it to you guys, but <laughs> we have enough avocados. I think, I think I can put our avocados to rest for a little bit. Um, and then we got to go back up here. 
Th this whole time, by the way, I've been wanting to make an elevator here from Create. I realize it would just slow me down, but it would also look pretty cool. You know what I mean? Yeah, do, do you understand my struggle? <laughs> um, all right, let's slap this in here. So that should be super fast now. This should all work perfectly. Um, all that's left is to make an order. So if we look in here, we've got pretty much nothing going on. Let's go Creative Apiary. Let's click Start on this. And let's see what happens. Ooh, I don't like that it's... Yeah, see, because look, already 1.9. That is not what we want at all. I'm going to change this to be um, nearest first. So now it will just completely fill the tanks. And I think that's a lot more reliable. I'm hoping it can make it through all of these and fill them all up. Hmm. I'm thinking it can. I think it's just... Yeah, look, it's just going to get through them. Okay, okay. So, so once all of these are full, that they should be fine. We shouldn't have any issues with like stuff left over. Now, now, normally having stuff left over isn't really a problem, but it is a problem when it when there's a recipe specifically ordering like I want this amount. You better give me this amount. You know what I mean? You, you can't afford to have like little bits left over. Uh, but this should be fine. This should be fine. We should be able to leave this. Is this guy running as well? He is. As you can see, though, like what a weird number. This currently has. 0.472 of a bucket. What's the point of that? What? How does that even take place? I mean, it should be... Once again, it should be fine. All we need is for hopefully these ones to fill up, but it might not. But it should, but it might not. It's kind of looking like it can't make it to these end ones, doesn't it? Oh my god. Um, What can I do? What can I do? How can I fix this problem real quick? Oh, do you know what that limiting factor is? It's actually the tank here. We're not getting enough liquid put into the tank. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We can we can fix this. Let's cancel this. I think this is going to be one of our first upgrades to this uh, crafter. It's going to be upgrading one of our um, setups here to be another right crafter. All of these so far have just been diamond ones. Um, for, for both the sake of lag and also a sake of... Um, uh, back in my base in the crafter manager, it's a lot easier to know, like, okay, if it's a diamond crafter that belongs to me, it's one of these, like, processing ones, but here we go. Let's, uh, open this guy up. Let's search crafter. Let's grab out a netherite one. We're gonna have to craft some, apparently. Hopefully, I can just order a stack, and they'll magically show up. Once again, if you're new to the, uh, the channel, the reason I don't use the creative ones is, for one, they can send the server into a crash loop, which I, I don't really want to deal with. Um, but the other thing is... Well, I'm playing on a server, so it gets really laggy using uh, different stuff like that. Um, so that should be good. Now, if I order it, hold on, order it. This should now hopefully get a lot shoved in it now. Now, there is the possibility, I will admit, there is the possibility that the tank isn't big enough. Because the tank only holds 32 uh, buckets. But we'll see, we'll see. Um, I'll keep an eye on this and I'll come back when it's done. You know what? It appears to be the same issue where like, look, these last ones can't get filled up. Um, so what I was originally going to do was I was going to chuck another pipe on the bottom of this guy to get it to go out faster. But as you can see, this one's getting filled up all 32 uh, buckets worth. So we actually, we, we sadly, we need a bigger tank. Um, I am curious, can I do this? And does it turn into a multi-block? It does. Like it's putting them in both. Hmm, interesting. Let's have this guy extract. Let's also get a pipe upgrade. One of our nice ultimates. Chuck this in here. Set this guy to be uh, nearest first. And so now, I think they're both getting filled up. So this one's getting filled. And maybe the one at the bottom's getting filled. I don't know. All I do know is, this very end one is being stocked. So it, it is working. Because this is the furthest away both of those pipes are set to do the nearest first. Okay, we're in, we're in action. Is this guy full as well? He is. Beautiful. Okay. Once again, doesn't look like it's running, but I can guarantee you it is. Um, so, we can look in here. Open up this bad boy. What is this? Oh, the Diamond Crafters. Um, and this is how quickly we're making them. Um, okay. Is it still going to take a long time? Yep. <laughs> is this still the bit we're waiting on? All of these processing? Yep. Um, is there much we can do other than wait? We could make another ATM star. 
which we might do. Oh, we have one. We could... We could make some more shards and make some more blast chillers. Um, do we want to do that this episode? I mean, I'm honestly, I'm not against it. We do need to get these apiaries made. Should we do that? I'm, yeah, I'm very much not against doing that. Um, one thing I will say though is, let's go over to the processing area. Um, I might have to, hmm. I, I think there's like a fire in my area in, in, in real life. And so my room is starting to smell like smoke. But it's like, I, hmm, hmm. The problem is I have like my... Uh, ah, yeah, yeah. What, what should I do? I right, we, we can smash out the rest of this video. It'll be fine. I'll, I'll get some lung cancer. Um, what we can actually do is we can set up a pattern to craft the ATM star, um, or the shard, sorry, um, within an induction smelter. It'll take a while. We'll need to craft some stuff, um, but it should work. And what I'm going to do as well is quickly take out this uh, uh, creative upgrade and place it in here because it... It would normally take a while, but if we use the speedy upgrade, it should be a little bit faster. Um, so, I think as well, it will take away my enchant my enchants from this, which honestly, I don't really care about. The the weapon's already like a one shot kill sort of thing, so that it's like, I, does it really matter if it doesn't? I don't know, one shot them harder. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that's not really a thing. Um, anyway, let's press U on this. Let's go induction smelter. Let's chuck in this pattern recipe here click create uh it's processing that's all fine um let me also grab a recipe for the stable quantum bedrock because i think it gets used up then what we're gonna have to do is fly over this way all the way over here chuck the recipe for that in there then we're gonna actually have to fly back here i should have done this while i was here and in the induction smelter um this guy here induction smelter i'm gonna chuck in this recipe for the atm star shard I'm going to put my um, Milnir in Milnir away. I'm going to put my ATM star away. I'm going to search star. We can see we have star shards. I'm going to click start. Request failed. One of the crafty ingredients ended up needing itself. You need to remove the pattern or make sure the pattern is not... So, so yeah. Here's the issue, I guess. Um, <clears throat> how would I reliably do this is the question. Because the pattern needs itself but i'm not cr i'm not trying to craft like uh, th th this is the issue that i that um refined storage has at the moment is i'm trying to craft the atm star shard right that's pretty simple i'm trying to craft that in order to craft it it needs milnia right but it also doesn't want to use up milnia it's just being used as a tool right so you need to get the item back but in but refined storage goes hey I'm trying to craft Mjolnir, and in order to craft Mjolnir, I need Mjolnir. So I'm going to order a Mjolnir that needs Mjolnir to do Mjolnir to do... And you know, they're like stuck in an infinite loop. When in reality, it shouldn't. You only need one, and I've given you one. Um, it's possible... Uh, you know, I'll, I'll admit it. It's possible that all I need to do is grindstone Mjolnir. Um, because... Da, 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 maybe it's looking specifically for an empty one. And maybe it still works. So let's put this away. Let's search star. Let's see if it will um, craft. I'm holding the recipe, so it won't craft. I l Listen, I realize I could put it in manually, but I'll tell you what. I didn't realize that before I just mentioned that I realized that. So we'll, we'll try once more, and if it doesn't work, hey, I think it's going to work. You know what? I take back everything I said. It works like a charm. It works perfectly. Um, we haven't seen our items return yet. Oh, no, there, there we go. One star shard, two, three... Four and five. And then we should also have Milnia. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, wonderful. That is what we'd like to see. Now, I should be able to order another one for me. Sure, why not? A another one you shouldn't have. Can we do another? Oh, of course we can. A another one for, for me. Oh my God. <laughs> so sweet. Talking about sweet, actually. Look at this. I logged in today. Mechanism. Happy New Year, do you stream? Best wishes to you as we enter this new and exciting year of 2022 um, from Aiden C. Brady. Thank you. Thank you. And a happy new year to everyone else. Um, I, I like it when mods do that, when they, you know, hit you with some some nice messages. And, and they don't spam you with it, you know what I mean? Like, it's not happening every single day of the year. Um, although, even then, you know, every single day, a new message, that can be fun. <laughs> a different mod letting you know what's up. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I thought I'd mention that because it was it was pretty sweet so here we go we've got some more uh flux 
efficiency creative upgrades. One of them is going to go instantly back here into this guy so that this guy can happen a little bit faster. As you can see, that is phenomenal. There he goes. Oh my god. Um, okay. And then... Do, 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 do. I think we're just going to slap a bunch of blast chillers. I'm going to be completely honest with you. We're going on a bit of a blast chiller adventure. I want my honey. <laughs> honey, where's my honey? Um, so we're going to come up here. Okay. So this guy's still full. Like, he, we've got plenty of honey in the system. We just need, we just need more honey to be um, sent out. Blast chiller. Blast furnace. Um, blast. There we go. What are these? What are these gears I need? Invar gears. How many can I make? One. What? Inva. Do we have a recipe for Inva? A stack, please. And while you're at it, two. <laughs> and these should actually be really quick because I believe they're being made in the induction smelter. Maybe. Oh, maybe not. Maybe they're just being made. You know what I mean? Like, um, because if you look at the recipe, we're using the fire charges, which do the smelting for us. Um, a little bit of a cheaty recipe. All right. There's our Inva gears. Um, go back to blast chiller. Here we go. Um, I'll make as many as it lets me. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Lesson learned. Apparently, I can't make that many. Here we go. Um, boom. All right. So, the blast chillers. I'm going to slap them here. Um, we're probably going to need more of these ender gates. Um, so, I'll grab one. I'll grab this one as well. Slap them on top. They should work like a charm. Um, I believe I also need two of these resonant... You know what? Just give me a bunch of them. I always need them. You know what I mean? Like, well, why are we... Why are we still manually crafting anything? Um, I'm going to put these creative efficiencies in each of those. So that should take care of business. Um, the resident guys should be crafting. They'll be on their way. Now, in terms of the rest of the everything, I think all we need to do is set the bottom to be output on both of these guys. We can still do the back be input. So the back is input. Um, and then all I have to do is make sure that that guy's extracting. That guy's extracting and that should be good we might have to put speed upgrades in there we could also i mean we've already got auto output we'll, we'll, we'll check we'll, we'll see what it, we'll see what it shows us these integral components you know the problem with uh bulk ordering recipes is it has to craft all of each individual thing before it crafts even one of the end product which is so annoying i mean like i don't want to wait that long i just need two of them i mean come on it should be like two seconds it would, you know what? It would be nice if you could configure that. You know what I mean? Like, um, when you order it, right? So I click craft and, and on here or something, have it say like, um, you know, I don't know, one at a time or, you, you know, just a toggle. So like, instead it would do like one run of recipes until it gets one, then two, then three. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. S send that to the man up top. <laughs> Where, where's our thing? What? Oh my God. I'm making a mess. Did it not? It did. Where is it? There it is. Two. Two. Beautiful. And I'm going to put one in you and one in you. And then all I need to do is go boop and boop. And now, as you can see, honey, I'm home. Um, now, here's the question. How much honey could a honey, 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 if a honey could a honey, honey? As you can see, not enough. We need more honey. Um, so, you know what? Just real quick. Um, how much is in these? Is it an exact amount? We don't have like a... Okay. As long as it's an exact amount, I'm happy. Um, I think all we need to possibly do is add another tank here. I think, uh, you know what? I think we need to do what we need to do. You know what I mean? Like I need to just add this, an advanced black hole tank. I think this, I think this takes care of the issue. Let's have this extract. Let's open this up, chuck this in nearest first. I think this takes care of our issue. Cause look, look at how many buckets it's taking now. You know, you, do you need honey? We've got honey. If you, if you need, listen, if you need honey, we've got honey. You need honey? You need honey. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, looking at the honey blocks in here, they actually, they are getting taken out in time. You know what I mean? Like, they're not, it's not filling up with a backlog. Um, yeah, I guess, I mean, I guess that's fine. It's still not, like, it's not crazy fast. Um, I could try chucking in, you know, four of these. So, like, two in each. But I don't think it actually does much. You know what I mean? Like, hmm. It's still not as fast as I really want it to be, you know? Um, alternatives, uh, you know... Oh, th there was actually a really good alternative I saw the other day. Um, I think it's in the mixer. You ready? And I think it's for the honeycomb block. Wait for it. Look at this. Three honeycombs and 
100 millibuckets, which is the equivalent of a honeycomb in honey form. So that's four honeycombs for a honeycomb block. Eh? That's pretty good. The issue is, I don't think it's the fastest thing ever. I mean, like, it's fast, but, it, uh, like, you know, you know, I, you know, you know, you know, you know. But if you don't know, let me show you real quick. Over here, we have a maximum speed um, mixing bowl right here. And we actually have a crafting, a crafter here. So what I should be able to do is if I go ahead and open my pattern grid and we search for the honeycomb and I actually grab this recipe here, um, we can change out this for um, just normal honeycombs. You know what I mean? Like just, just some normal honeycombs. Um, how many was it? Three. Three honeycombs. Create this pattern. Run over here. Um, you know what? This crafter needs to upgrade. You are going to be a netherite crafter because I, I, listen, I need you to do your job here. Okay, Buster. That's not the right way. Okay. Off to not the best start with, oh my God, what is wrong with you? Why are you making a mockery of me in front of my friends? What are you? We're going to do it the hard way. We're going to do it the hard way. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I'm, I'm recording, right? I'm recording. Okay. Okay. Um, we're going to put these recipes back in. Okay. So here's the deal. I'm going to search for honey. I'm going to search for honeycombs. I'm going to craft a stack. What's it going to need? It's going to try to craft it with essence. Oh, it's actually going to try and craft catnip honey. Man, you're making a mockery of me. This, <laughs> you know what the problem is? If we click on this, the fluid section, it is trying to. Assuming it's going to switch. Hello? What? Are you, are you guys witnessing what I'm witnessing? In a row. I, I'm going to close this for a second. In a row. That thing is just trolling me. This, the recipe trolls me. And, and now this thing is just sitting there. And it's just like, nah. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna switch. You can't make me. It's like what? Okay, okay. Why is it trying to use that much catnip honey anyway? That makes no sense. All it needed was 100 millibuckets. What? What is going on? What is going on? Close this. 100 millibuckets. Set. Update the recipe. Run over here. Slap it down. Chuck it in. Open this up. Honeycomb. Stack. Stack. Craft. Okay. <laughs> All right. Off to a great start. What is going on? Scheduled honey. Honeycomb. What? 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 It, what? What? What is the issue? Somebody, somebody explain. I, I... My brain hurts. My brain hurts. Okay. Okay. I want to check something real quick. I want to open this guy. Set him to fluids. I want to go to resourceful bees honey. Um, and I want to... Oh, I imagine this is going to be a mill buckets. I want it to have... Um, so that's that's a bucket. Wait. That's a bucket. I'm going to add another zero. That's 10 buckets. 100 buckets. 1,000 buckets. 10,000 buckets. 100,000 buckets. A million? I think. I don't know. I can't math. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it, it'll, yeah, it'll, it'll do something. It'll do something. What is happening here? Processing honeycomb block. Okay, okay. So I see the issue. We're currently using the honeycomb to make the honeycomb. So we've we've put ourselves back in that loop. I I I get you. I understand that. I just don't agree with it. Like I. Hmm. Okay, okay. What, what can we do instead here? I mean, I can just... Uh, well, I can't really chuck it in. Hmm. Uh, like, I want to give an example, but it's not... Hmm. I, I, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. But we can sort of give an example. Let me search for that uh, crystallized amber. This stuff here. I'm going to order a stack, right? Here we go. It should put as much of it as it can in here. Assuming that we can even craft it. What is going... What is our, what is our honey issue? Honey, what's our issue? Um, our honey should be being made over here in this thing. And it is. Look look at all this honey. The honey must be going still to this recipe. Yeah, because we need so much. Scheduled is what? 200,000. Man, that is... Okay. Yeah, we need more centrifugal separators. Okay, okay. Listen, listen. It's fine. It's fine. That's the second one. 
Let's search for um, creative. Grab this guy. Let's search resonant. Let's grab 10 of you. Okay, look, listen, listen, <laughs> listen. That's fine. That's fine. Um, hmm. I'm going to, I'm going to actually place it here. I'm going to pick up this guy. I'm also going to place him uh, here. This, this thing here is going to be entangled into like a chest. So we're just going to grab a chest. The chest is going to go like here. Um, eh, I'll put it down one just so I can open it. You know what I mean? Yeah, that, 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 that's fine. Um, we're going to entangle that chest. Hopefully you guys like this video. I know it's, we're not necessarily doing something new, which could be, I don't know, a little bit boring, but I, I think it's good what we're doing. I'm going to entangle it there. So now this guy is going to fill up with honeycomb blocks. Pretty simple. Makes sense. Um, from there, he is obviously going to be sent down here into all of these. I'm planning on having like a row of them in case you haven't caught on just yet. In fact, hold on. Um, do, 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 what's the best way to do this? Hmm. Hmm. I think it's fine. I think it's fine. Is it fine? Yeah. I guess. Uh, no, 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 it's not. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, the reason it's not fine is we need an output. And I don't think they can output from their front face. So they're going to have to output from the bottom, which should be fine. So this should be good. Let's connect this up again. Um, we're going to configure these to be input at the top, output at the bottom. Pretty simple stuff. Auto output at the bottom, please. Um, I'm not sure if you need to, but we're going to configure it like that just in case. Um, that has a creative. That's going to have a creative. And then at the bottom, I guess we'll do pipes all leading into... Like, so we could probably have them all come all the way over here. And then either into an ender chest or into like... Um, what do you call it? Uh, exporter or something. You are... Oh, oh, okay. Okay, that's fine. The recipe's gone. We can still craft the original. But now we're just going to have to manually craft these ones as well. That's, you know, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. We just, it's fine. I'm not, I'm not upset. What makes you think that? What, what makes you think that? Tell, tell me. What makes you think that I'm upset? Hmm. Interesting. 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 It's fine. It's fine. Um, I'm going to diamond lock this. <laughs> I'm going to place this guy there. Um, on the front of these guys, just for reference, we're going to be putting power upgrades. So, or, you know, ender gates. <laughs> power upgrades. Um, slap those on there. The bottoms will obviously be exports. There we go. This guy will be an export. So, this should start up beautifully. Um, let's also get, what do we need? What do we need? We need the resonance uh, integral component to go into here so that it actually processes like insanely fast. Um, in terms of the liquid outputs, I think it's going good. We could chuck in upgrades just to be sure. I mean, why not? You know, they're, they're not expensive. We, we might as well just chuck those in. I'm going to just set this to do round robin because it doesn't matter, uh, but I'll just chuck both of those in. And yeah, I mean, I think we're good. I, th I think this is this should improve our production. I obviously want more. So I'm going to search for more and see just how difficult that... What's this? Well, it has XP to be stored and retrieved. I do not want that. We, we One thing we have, experience. Uh, Constantin, how many can I make? Three. Okay, that's not much. Um, make me some of these. Bam. Beautiful. We're, we're making moves. Constantin, make some more. Beautiful. 16. You like to see it. Bam. Centrifugal. We can make one. <laughs> what? <laughs> what are we missing? Machine frame and... Okay. Let's just, let's just take care of something real quick. Let's just, let's just, give me a second. Give me a second. I've got some, I've got a personal vendetta. There we go. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now, now when I order, when I order my centrifugal separator, I want my centrifugal separator. I'm a simple man. Listen, I'm a simple man. Place that there, place that there. Um, get our pipes at the top. Let's grab our ender gates. How many do we need? Ah, probably a few. That's probably more than we need, but. It'll do the trick. There we go. Put those away. Um, next, we're going to need our resonant components. We're going to need to actually craft some more uh, creative uh, flux things. I'm going to need fire four. Four. I'm going to need four. Wait, how many do I need? Hold up. <laughs> yeah, I need four. Um, so I'm going to order four. 
And I believe it's going to have to craft a completely new uh, shard. It's going to have to craft itself an ATM star as well. Which maybe just before I do that, I should double check just real quick that we have everything in here. We don't. We're missing something. We are missing... Ah, I forgot. I forego. <laughs> um, we're missing the astral sorcery stuff. We're missing the thing that I hate, that I don't, that, you know, I don't like. Um, so I've got to grab this stuff. I've got to go to the new area right here. And I've got to craft the iridescent blah, blah, blah. And it's going to be this one here, a radiant star. There it is. Chuck everything in there. It needs to be nighttime. So sorry to the other people playing on the server, but uh, the this mod does not like you. So... Too bad, it's going to be nighttime. All right, well, here's our star, which is essentially an ATM star. Beautiful. Um, I'll meet you guys back at the centrifugal, blah, 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 blah. Okay, okay, I, I, I'm back. Um, off camera, I, I decided to redo this system here just because it, it's been annoying me, but I haven't really wanted to do it. Oh, we can actually, you know what? Just hide that to make it a bit, a bit prettier. Um, so uh, previously, we just had three furnaces here, and it, it was really awkward because one furnace was getting items directly from this chest, the other two furnaces were getting it from a double chest that was sitting here, but then the double chest was also exporting from its own chest back into itself because there was another furnace. It was messy. It was messy. So now what we have is an obsidian chest that gets all the items that need to be smelted, and then each of these chests get items in them, as you can see. Um, some of them have them in just like a round robin, and all of those items get auto input, if we can sort of see our furnaces, auto input from the top, and that's essentially how they work. Um, yeah, that's that's basically it, I, I, I guess. Um, so now when we need to smelt stuff, hopefully it's, hopefully it's faster. Another thing I've done is I've ordered um, more of these rods because this stuff takes so long. Look at it. I would love to, at the very least, like halve the time because it's just, it's so slow. Um, so I've ordered more. They'll, they'll take their time. I could upgrade the cables, but like have a look in the middle of the screen. These, um, niotic cables can keep up. Like, it doesn't get below, um, 3,900,000. So, I, I don't know. I don't know if there's a reason to. I don't, like, look, apparently they only use 30,000 RF a tick. Or forge energy a tick. I, I don't know how. 30,000, it says. How much does a, ni a niotic cable do? A niotic cable does 40,000 a tick. And the rods, the nitro rods we have, they only do 3,000 RF a tick. So I guess we have 10 here. Yeah, I don't know. It's a bit weird. Um, all right, all right, all right. Back onto track though. I believe our creative things are probably done. Yes, we have four creative doohickeys. Beautiful. It's what we'd like to see. Um, I'll probably put all this stuff away. Was I meant to put those centrifugal separators away? I think I was. Um, if we come over here, here are, I guess, our goodies. I'm going to right-click on each of these to put in their upgrades. Then I'm going to right-click with our components. Beautiful. So far, so good. Now, what I'm going to do is input, output, auto output. And I'm going to do that for all of them. Does thermal um, have, like, a, a card that lets me just copy and paste that? Do we know? Does it have one? So far, I don't know. Oh, you know what? Effect duration. We could probably... There's probably some of these upgrades we could add to some of our other machines as well that I might need to look at in the future. Um, copies and transfer settings between blocks. This bad boy right there. That is what we want. It just disappeared. Where is it? Um, here it is. So two redstone and two paper, and we get a red print. I'm going to shift right click on this centrifugal separator. And we'll just, I'll just normal right click it, I guess. And then I'll right click on these ones. Yeah. I think, I think the shift right clicks worked or something. I don't know. Um, but hey, it's working now. And it's working pretty well. Um, all we need to do, I believe, is make sure that each of these are extracting. Um, and that should be fine. We could probably do with a speed upgrade up there. I'm just now, you know, I'm just, just possibly realizing that could potentially help. I'm going to chuck this here. I'm going to do just a round robin. And that should hopefully keep these guys completely stocked full. And you see, they're making 8,100 mil buckets per tick, I believe. I believe that's how this is currently working. Um, no. No, that's not how this is working. Do you, do, you want, do you guys see the big issue? You guys have probably been screaming it. Those are, those are item pipes. 
We're trying to extract the fluid here, people. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. We we know what we're doing. And I was trying to put it into a a chest as well. <laughs> it just gets better and better, doesn't it? Um, I'm actually going to get a tank. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, sure. I'll get an advanced black hole tank. Why not? This guy can get slapped there. I'm going to then run this fluid. Um, um, yeah. I'm going to run it up here like that. I'm probably going to... Oh, no, that looks fine. Do I need to just tell this to extract? Is that all that's left? Extract, 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 extract. And you see all of them have lit up. They're all processing again. This guy's filling up with goodies. All I need to do is add an importer. And we have now, like, quintupled or sextupled our, um, our honey production. So, fluid mode. And there we go. So, we can now check out this recipe again. How much faster is it happening? <laughs> I'm going to be honest. It's not that much faster at all. That is it like incredibly not faster. That is it. That is ridiculous, man. Well, how, how big of a scale do I have to take this to, to make an, to make a dent, a single dent onto this? Um, honeycomb blocks. Can I like, can I process, um, compressed honeycomb blocks? Is that a thing? Now I know I could chuck him in a centrifuge. Is that like, is that what I should do? Should I just chuck them in a centrifuge? Uh, like, look at this processing scheduled stored. If we open these guys up, you know what? I do think we need either tank up. You know what? Oh my God. I've, I've solved the issue. We just need to add some tank upgrades. That's all we need to do. You, oh my God. You guys are actually going to love this. Let me just order some cured rubber. Um, just real quick. It, it should only take a minute. Um, I'm going to get enough for all of these. The issue is, um, and here we go. Let me grab them. Um, watch this. So at the moment, look, look at it running. Every time, like, it's just, it's not running constantly. You can tell because every time this is going um, up, it's not exporting or something. I, I don't know. I don't know. Every time it's going down, it's not processing, right? Like, yeah. So if we check a tank on this, eh? Mm, no, the tank doesn't solve the issue. It's, um, it, it, it is quite literally the, um, the piping at the bottom. So what we need, uh, pipe upgrades. That, that's all we need. We don't need that tank upgrade. Um, I should be able to, to be honest, shift right click these on. And that should take care of it. And that makes this process so much easier. I'm just going to shift right click on each of these. Like so. And now, eh, hold on. Now look at it. It's not noticeable, <laughs> or at least I can't notice it. Um, okay. I mean, I'm sure it's doing more, you know? I'm just, uh, it's not doing much in the grand scheme of things. That is insane. Like, we got these creative upgrades. Oh, my God. Okay. All right, it's time. It's time. It's time. It, l listen, we might not get much done in the... We might not get much done this episode. There, I said it. Um, we haven't even gotten any dense bees. That's great. No dense bee. Um, I haven't unlocked him. Listen, listen. It, oh my god, and we don't even have any honey. So we just let him out. And he's, he's furious. You know, he's not actually furious. Hmm. He should be furious though. Um, do we have a craft? No, we need a crafting upgrade in here. Pronto. Crafting... Upgrade. I don't like these B sounds. Crafting upgrade. Honey. Pronto. Can I set a priority? No. That's not good. Honey. You know what as well? Let me break that for a second. Let me get a tank. Hopefully we have... Do we have a backup tank? Advanced. Here we go. Um, hold on. Is that a honey tank? Yeah, let's, let's grab a honey tank. I'm going to place a honey tank to export the honey into. And then the honey tank is going to go into the um this this guy like so i think this is the configuration that caused some lag let's see let's see if it does you ready let's get gobsmacked oh wait i've got to turn the, the overlay on yeah why does it use so much lag oh my god um do we need it like do we do we need it do we need it like i if i break this is it the end of the world Let's see. Like, are these guys still going to process? Are they still going to do their thing? I think they are. Um, what I was going to check over here, though, is what if I do add 
normal honeycombs to the mix. What if I do it? What if I add a honeycomb? Is this going to get us more honey? Because like these, these have the potential to give us more honey. Is, is this worth it? I think it might be. I think it might be. Because I mean, this is, well, is it faster? I don't know if it's faster. If it was a, listen, if we had a creative tier centrifuge, hold on, hold on, <laughs> hold on, hold, hold, everyone hold, um, creative centrifuge. If we made one of these and we made this stuff, it would be worth it. It would be phenomenally worth it. The question is, can we start, 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 start. Oh, okay. But in this mix, we're going to have to craft another star. Then we're going to have to craft some block. You know what? You know what? We are not crafting this anymore. Cancel. There, there. You know what? We've done. Server rebooting. After this restart, there's a possibility we will be creating um, a creative centrifuge. Because then we can process the honeycombs instantaneously, which means instant honey, which means instant creative apiary. Okay? Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll be right back. Okay, okay. So, so we're, we're back. We're back. Um, and yeah, I kind of really want to set up this new centrifuge. And I think we can do it because we were in the process of crafting the apiary, right? This uses six times compressed honey. If we search for our honey, we have... Um, I thought we had some. We, we don't have any, but we're close to having the, um, the five times that we need. We have four or five times, right? Yeah, four or five times compressed honey, which if we look at the this guy here... That, that's already what we need. We, we have it. We, we quite literally have it. All we need is the diamonds, the iron, and the gold. And then for the casing itself, um, no honey's used at all. It's doable. It's so doable. It is. In th that's that's why you get it. That's literally the only reason to get the... um. Well, not the only reason, but a, a good reason to get the creative uh, centrifuge is because you need so much honey. And it's the best way to get um get the honey. <laughs> quite literally. Um. Okay. So, I need recipes. In particular, I need to grab, like, compressed gold, apparently, five times. Do we really not have this gold? Um, wait, wait, compressed, and then I search, like, gold. We have up to four times. We don't have five times. So, there we go. We now have five times. What is next? Um, iron and diamond, both five times. I think iron, we might not even have any. So, I'm probably going to have to go through all of these and create all of these recipes, which, as you can see... Pretty easy, pretty easy setup. So I'm gonna grab all these recipes we need. Um, I mean, I believe we have everything like item-wise that we need. So this shouldn't be too much of an issue. Okay, okay, yeah, all, all the recipes are there. We have all the recipes we need. One last thing to check is, oh, I'm gonna to need to make another, ah, I need to make another uh, um, ATM star because we need one for the controller. Okay, okay, so I'm gonna to go to the astral area. I'll make it nighttime. I'll make the thing, blah, 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 boring, boring, boring. Um, and then we should be good to go. I'm going to have to make another shifting star as well. Oh my God. It's horrible. Okay. That is the iridescent star done. I'm going to put that away so we can start auto crafting. I'm also get rid of this thing. Uh, we'll get rid of the beacon for now. I don't know if we need the beacon anymore. Um, I'll double check what, while that stuff's crafting anyway. Oh, we also need to make it daytime. But what I was going to say is, um, I need to make sure, I think... Like, is the B Diddy B, is he still working? He doesn't have red eyes, which makes me think that he's not angry, even though we don't have the beacon up. I just don't know if he's doing his thing anymore without the beacon. Um, I don't know. I don't know. We might, I mean, we can give it a test, you know what I mean? Like, at the moment, he's not doing what he should be doing. If I go ahead and slap down a beacon, what, what just happened? What happened to that beacon I just tried to grab out? Does it not exist? Oh, no. Nice. Now we have two of them. Awesome. If I slap this guy down and have him do calming, does he now instantly go and do what he's meant to do? Hmm. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. We'll... I'll figure something out. Um, what else was I doing? I've completely forgotten. Oh, yeah. I was going to double check our... Um, production up here for the ATM star. The oblivion shard should be there. Beautiful. Now we can order the ATM star. We will get that guy ordered. Beautiful. Um, and now it's literally, as far as I'm aware, just crafting the centrifuge, which, hey, 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 
Should be easy, right? A piece of cake. Um, okay. So here's the deal. We just pick it up. Okay. We pick it up. We pick up this guy too. Might, maybe it made a mess. Maybe everything's in here. You know what? No, it's not. It didn't make a mess. I think it possibly even just voided all the ingredients. Who knows? Who knows? Um, okay. Okay. So the, the centrifuge controller actually just essentially goes nowhere. It doesn't get used. Um, the centrifuge casings do. Oddly enough, the controller uses another casing, which means we have to make an extra uh, centrifuge casing. We need 36 total now. So if we search casing, we do have 36. I guess we did have an extra already. So there we go. Um, okay. So centrifuge controller or centrifuge casing. We can need this stuff. I should add a recipe, shouldn't I? Uh, you know what? I think I should. I think that will give us a clear understanding of just how many resources we're uh, sinking into this bad boy. Uh, double check I'm recording. Yep. Okay. We're, we're beautiful. Nice. Everything's happening. <laughs> we're, we're so close to greatness. Okay. So I, I mainly, mainly want to do these bits um, auto-crafted. The, uh, the casings, right? Chuck that in there. Um, casing. Okay. Creative casing. I want 36 of you. Can we do it? Oh, it, it says we can. It's going to use a bunch of blocks. I'm going to order it. There it is. Honestly, it didn't look like that big of a craft. It should be relatively quick. Oh my God. Ladies and gentlemen, we're witnessing it happen. This is it. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. Okay. Okay. And then for the, this guy, we're going to need to craft. Um, I'm not going to craft the ATM stuff because we've already got that being crafted. So I'll we'll cancel that part, but I'll craft everything else. Uh, the ATM star, we should be able to see in action over here. Although I guess it's not done yet. What are we waiting on with the, with the star? Is the star done? I think it's done. Do we, hold on, hold on. Inventories aren't opening. Oh God. Oh God. The, the lag apocalypse, uh, ATM. Okay, we do have the star. Okay, so I should be able to craft it now, right? Oh my god, yep. All we're doing, all we got to wait on is the last few um, blocks at the end there. Um, this stuff? The diamonds? Maybe. Is it even crafting? Okay, it is. It's just, I think because, because we crafted the star, all these other recipes are trying to craft as well. And it's possible that we're struggling a little bit, especially due to this thing. Like, this guy's a messy recipe, to say the least. Um... Is that really what we're waiting on? We're just waiting on like nothing. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, creative controller tier, oh, sorry, centrifuge controller tier creative. There it is. I'm gonna clear the grid. I'm gonna search creative. I'm gonna grab 35 centrifuge uh, casing tier creatives. We're gonna go to our B area. Now, something to note just before we do any of this, let's look at our honeycombs. We have some tens of thousands. We have 100,000 honey essence, which actually isn't much. I think we had a few million before. Um, but we have 100,000 of those. Um, that's that's pretty much it at the moment. I can actually cancel... Oh, no, that's being ordered. What's this? Um, lots of honeycomb blocks. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, what I set up off camera. I don't know if I did it off camera. No, I did this on camera. Was this guy. I'm actually going to cancel him. He's canceled. He's been canceled. So I should be able to cancel that. And we should now have... 425,000 honeycomb blocks, okay? Just keep that in mind. Half a million honeycomb blocks, okay? I'm going to come over here. I'm going to place down these beautiful pieces. They're marvelous. Spectacular. Uh, this block should be the controller right there. Here we go. Oh, we're almost there. And ladies and gentlemen. Ta-da! Oh my God. Let's just have a look. So this is the speeds we're dealing with now for processing. There is no loading bar. We have stacks upon stacks of honeycomb blocks in here. I, I'll be honest. I'm still not too impressed. Um, particularly because I still see the stacks, you know? Oh my God. Look at the honey. It's full. N what? Do we not have an importer? What's the import for? It's the importer for items. Oh, it's disconnected. Uh, oh, 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 because we, we, you know, rebuilt it. So I've actually got to sneak on here and right click on there. Oh, you know what? We could just, we could just pick it up, place it back down. Um, and same with this, I believe. I think we just want to, what do we want to do here? You know what? 
I picked up the pipe upgrade. It would have been this one here. That pipe upgrade right there. If I go ahead and break this, place down a brand new one, um, disconnect this, reconnect this, and put in this guy. I bet you it's like nearest first. Yep. Nearest first. So that should have the fluids. Oh, maybe not under control. Do I need to... A... <laughs> uh, honestly, we, we might need to chuck in an ultimate pipe upgrade. Ultimate pipe upgrade. Um, Do nearest first. Is that taking care of the fluids? There we go. Barely though. Wow. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, yeah, that's pretty good. That's pr I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Oh, uh, disable redstone control. That is phenomenal. Um, I think this is all good. I think that's fine. I think we're good. I think we're good. You can see this is where all the fluids going in. Um, just, just for reference, because I want to check it out. If I, um, break this, how much are we getting? Those are buckets of honey. Oh my God. That is insanity. That is absolute insanity. You know what's interesting as well? Do we have enough power? Is the power the... Uh, the flux plug, I don't think it's even attached. Does it use power? I, I'm going to be honest. I don't think it uses power. You can see the item still showing in. Can I place this again? It does connect, but it, as you can see, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't need power. I mean, we have infinite power. That's why I was sort of like wondering, like, hey, can I put some power in? Um, holy moly. I don't know what's going on here with like the sand. I don't, and the string. Like, I don't, oh my God. What did I accidentally just do? Oh my God. I, I, I'm not entirely sure what's happening in this interface, but it's doing it. I want to take out these honeycombs there as well. Just so that some of these other ones can fill up. There we go. And we can put these back away. Okay. Okay. We're still, we're still handling all the liquids. It's not too much. Nope. We've got it. Okay. Okay. So. Right. Um. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yep. Let's check our fluid grid real quick. How much honey do we have? We have half a mil. Okay. 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 So, so wait, hold on. Hold on. So now if I need to order, for example, more of this. Is it doable? We still need to craft only 400,000 down from, um, interesting. Very interesting. Now, if I order that, where's it going to be crafting it from? It is going to craft the honey essence and it's going to do that. I think, I think I'm going to cancel that. Oh, I didn't want to cancel all of them, but it should be fine. I think I'm, oh, maybe it won't be fine. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, I think I just made a mess. Um, but yeah, the, the new thing I want to do is in here. I want to specify that I want, um, um, probably a thousand honeycomb blocks, honeycomb blocks. And what that should do is it should craft all the honey up and, and do all that kind of stuff. Um, the auto crafting that we just did possibly broke things for the philosopher's fuel. Um, yeah, mainly for the philosopher's fuel. We might have to double check what's going on there. What in particular were we waiting on? You know what? No, I think we're fine. I, I don't think it broke anything. I think we're good. It's going to craft one of those. It's going to craft the philosopher's fuel itself, which means this guy over here should kick into gear. All the items are there. Are they going to get put into the invisible block? Ah, ah, there they go. And it's processing. Okay. Beautiful. That works. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. Yeah. Beautiful. Um, all right. All right. So what I want to do now is I'm going to go in here. I'm going to search honey. I want to remove... I know we sort of just set it up. I want to remove the, um, what do you call it? I think the centrifugal stuff that we just, uh, hooked up. So hold on. <laughs> I, I, listen, listen, I know we, I know we just set it up, but we kind of just like made it obsolete, but this stuff all here is kind of useless to me. So I actually want to take out this recipe here that outputs it to honey. That way, when I search for my recipe here and I try and craft it, it will tell me exactly what we need. It won't like lie or anything. Um, we are currently missing 400,000 buckets. So that's what we're after. We're after 400,000 buckets. I could add a recipe to it. It would be difficult. The reason it would be difficult is in the centrifuge, it's a 20% chance that you get the honey. So it's, it's difficult to add crafting recipes for this since it's, you know, a bit random. Um, okay. So we're back to a waiting game. 
but it's kind of a good waiting game. If anything, oh, actually, we have that much honeycomb blocks. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're currently standing here. None of the honeycomb blocks are being used up. None of the essence is being used up. Hmm, what have I done here? Why is that happening? Because shouldn't it still be running? Is our chunk loading not working in this B area at all? Because this should still be running, getting us unlimited honey, which means it should be processing. Okay, so now it's processing. Is this not in the same? It is. It's in the chunk. Is, is chunk loading just not uh, chunk loading just not working? Or maybe it doesn't work for the B stuff. Very, very odd. Very, very odd. Oh, oh, oh my God. Okay, so I just hold crouch, which actually shows me the true input of this of this like inventory. Look at how much stuff we have. There's currently 500 honeycomb blocks. There's also currently 769,000 sugar and 100,000 beeswax. What? Why? Does our importer not work? Ultra importer. Let's um let's pick this guy up and just let's just try him again. Importer. Are you gonna My god I mean that is an insane amount of stuff. Um possibly we might need a few importers. I don't know if this is a good idea or not. Uh we could put some speed upgrades in them, I guess. Maybe that'll help it out. Open this guy up, chuck some speed upgrades in. See if see if that has any dent on it. Um so far no. I, I don't even know if that's really, if like, if the items are really in there. I, I, I don't know, but we're going to give it a try. I'm going to just, like, chuck all of this stuff in here. So now we've got, we've tripled, more than tripled our speed. Is the stuff getting taken out now? It is. Look at the, look at the sugar. It's, it's barely being taken out, but it's being taken out. Oh my God. Are we going to have to, <laughs> you know what? You know what? I, I actually, I sort of have a better idea. I'm going to break all of these, right? We're going to place a, um... Just a pipe, just normal pipe to like hook that up so it still gets, you know, beeswax in it or, or, you know, the honeycomb blocks. I'd love to bring a cable over here. I want to just fill up an entire side with it. So let's um go like this and then I'm, just, <laughs> I'm quite literally just going to do this the whole way over. So let me get some more importers. By the way, if you're in single player, go ahead, chuck your creative importer on it. We're playing on a server though, so uh, we got we to gotta think about some other people here or else the entire server would uh, probably lag lag to its death. Um, but here we go. I'm going to, uh, I mean, I don't know if the speed upgrades truly make a, dis a difference in these importers. Um, but, um, Hey, they're getting slapped on. I'm also a little bit worried already about like the, <laughs> the little lag we just had. I'm, I'm very on edge. Um, it's fine. It's fine. If there's issues, you know, I'll, I'll just break it all. Um, okay. We've got one. I I, I want to I want to watch this on camera. I want to see if it actually made a dent. So if I now hold crouch and we look at this again, how much sugar is in there? I mean, this it's it's not even going down. <sighs> I exact on blacklist uh, items. I mean, it's all still hooked up. All the cables still meet. I don't know if it's real. I don't know if like the numbers we're seeing are real. The reason why I think they're real is if I shift click on this, look, we just get all of the sugar that comes out. So I think it is real. I just don't know what to do with this information. Oh, you know what? Um, we have an extra star shard. I'm going to search for a pipe upgrade. You ready for this? I'm going to get an infinity pipe upgrade. It's going to make 16 of them. Pretty good deal. Considering we have like unlimited stars now. I'm going to grab one of these upgrades. Um, I'm going to come back over to this side. I'm going to uh, probably pick all of them up. Yep, there we go. Um, okay, beautiful. I want to see exactly how we can do this. Da, 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 da. I'm going to grab a pipe here. <laughs> okay, it's going to extract. It's going to have an infinity pipe upgrade in it. So it is currently extracting um, 2 billion items per tick, apparently. We're going to get an ender chest, which um, we'll grab from here. We're going to grab a diamond so that we can lock it. I don't want... Hey, I don't want anyone stealing my... Uh, my honeycombs or my sugar or whatever, whatever this guy's exporting. Okay, you ready? Bam. Is that doing it? It does look like they're draining. Um, you know, I am curious. Let's run a little profile here. 
see what sort of lag we're dealing with, see what's happening, see see if this pipe is like over overloaded like crazy. Let's um turn the overlay on. It's it's you know it's doing some work. It's <laughs> it's definitely do this B area is the laggiest part of my entire base. Um, I'm probably gonna have to consider like spending an afternoon optimizing it. But oh look, that's all the sugar and all the beeswax that's like hidden in the inventory actually being taken out. So you can actually see it is draining. We're down to 630,000 sugar. The beeswax is sort of, it's catching up. I think it's going to do the sugar first, then we'll do the beeswax. That is insane. Um, if I search sugar, how much do we have? We have just over a mil. Okay. Um, I'm going to actually grab some more infinity upgrades. <laughs> let's, um, let's put this guy to work. How, how does that sound? I, this could be a horrible idea. Listen, it could be a horrible idea, but it also could be a really fun idea. So let's just slap all those on. I want to check the chest. Is this chest like full? No. How are we looking? Is that draining even faster? I, I'm not sure if it is, to be honest. To be honest, I'm, I'm not sure if it is. I do also want to check something else. Um, If I get a tank. Are they still called tanks if they store... What, what are they called? The um black hole... I want to do like an item black hole. A black hole unit. That's what it's called. I would like to get a big black hole unit. Can I, requ can I request one of these? No. Can I request just an advanced one, which holds a bunch of everything? Um, advanced. I would like you, please. Craft and craft. Thank you. Hopefully, that won't take too long. Hopefully, it won't take too long. Hopefully, it won't take too long. You know what? In the time it takes to set up that chest, this thing's going to be done anyway. I wanted to just see, like, um, how quickly, you know, filled up a chest. Like, if I slap that there, it's just full. Like... <laughs> That is pretty ridiculous. Um, we can slap everything in here. La -di -da, -di da la -di -da, -di da But yeah, a creative importer would very likely make quick, swift work of that. Phenomenally. Look at that go. My God. I'm, I'm still so impressed by it. By just the sheer speed that it is going at. Um, I think one is enough. We don't need to waste the rest there. Like if, if we look here, it's still draining. So it's, it's not an issue. One can take care of it, but that is phenomenal. I mean, it's still, like, it's still going. The fact that it's still going, like, that is insane. That is a crazy amount of everything. Um, are we, are we any closer to getting this? Like, could I do that this episode or? It's going to be a next episode thing. We got to let this bad boy run. We got to get that honey processed. We need uh, 300,000 more. It's only done like 100,000 since I've been sitting here talking. But yeah, I think that's I think that's a good wrapping up point. Thank you guys for watching. Um, hopefully you're enjoying the series. Um, hopefully you're enjoying the Create Above and Beyond series. Now, with that series, I, I do suggest you check out at least the first video because the pack wasn't what I thought it was. So I imagine for some of you, it won't be what you thought it was as well. Um, it's not just like... It's a create mod pack, but the mod pack devs have put an insane amount of work into it. Like pretty much every recipe is custom. It's got like, uh, you know, thermal, thermal series in it and stuff like that. It has an 82 in it, applied to Energistics 2. It has like a bunch of other weird mods, some that I've never even seen before. One called Pretty Pipes. Um, it sounds cool. I haven't checked it out yet. Um, and they all have like custom recipes. They all do, for the most part, link back into... Um, create so it, it is still create focused but it's it's pretty cool and, and even the create stuff the create stuff itself has different recipes um and different ways that it works i i i think it's pretty cool um so uh yeah yeah that's i guess all i'm, all I'm really saying is that an ad did i just add myself <laughs> um yeah thank you guys for watching if you did enjoy uh please do consider subscribing to the channel it helps me out quite a bit we've grown an incredible amount this year a lot of our views as well and like our watch time and stuff has been converted from the tutorials, which is sort of like one hit wonder videos to the actual series that we do. Like the series that we, we do on the channel is now like the biggest part of the channel. Um, the tutorials still do a crazy amount of views, but like a lot of the watch time now, it has like increased drama dramatically, uh, which is awesome. Uh, it's insane. Um, so <laughs> thank you guys for supporting me um, throughout this year. And hopefully we have an even bigger 2022. Um, thank you to those of you who supported me financially um, through donations this year. Obviously, those of you watching ads as well, that's it. you're essentially supporting me financially. Um, thank you guys. That th thank you guys a lot. Genuinely, um, it's it does make a, a pretty big impact when everyone's doing it. Um, so th thank you guys. Um, thank you specifically to Caden, Oracle, Skeletal, Jacob, 
Oh wait, this derpy snow luna. Derpy snow luna. I struggle with the long words, especially at the end of the videos on, on these hot days. Um, Mugs and VRifty, um, who have all supported me financially through our various donation links. Thank you guys. Um, thank you to the coolest VRifty and Mugs who are channel members here on the YouTubes. Um, in the past, the present, possibly the future, either or. They, they help me. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that weird... It's almost like an optical illusion because like all the, the gaps are lining up. Uh, oh, one of these bees. One of these bees that escaped. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching and hopefully I will see you guys in the next one where possibly the creative apiary makes an appearance. Um, maybe. You know, you know as well, we stopped exporting the starry honey. How much do we have? We have 29. Yeah, we're, that's rough. We, we need more of that. Um, yeah. All right. Goodbye.